For this video, I will be demonstrating how to render or hatch in your AutoCAD program using something that is called the super hatch command. That super hatch command is found in your home, in your ribbon under the express tab located here. And then you will go to where it says here, super hatch. Super hatch uses images blocks, external reference or ex-references, wipeout, and some existing items as well. We'll go over the ones that are used the most, which is your image and your block, and pulling in materials or patterns into your drawing so that it can hatch and create a rendered type floor plan. First thing I would like to do is go over that image. So an image is something that you can have saved already in your files or to your device that you can import into your space. Using that super hatch command and selecting something that is your image, those references will show up. But before we jump into that, let's take a look at our space. You would definitely need to make sure that you have a defined area in which you're gonna be placing your hatch. So for instance, if I was to go ahead and click on a line, I can see that it is highlighted in blue and it shows my defined boundary in which my hatch will be applied to. So this is the space in which I want to work in. Two places that I'm going to hatch will be this living room area and then here represents a bathroom. So I would like to click on the bathroom area oh, and as I'm clicking, my area is not attached so it's not defined. So what I need to do is define this space as a one. In doing so, if you run across an instance when this happens, you can use your polyline to connect your lines that you have created together, or you can type in the word join and go ahead and join these lines. When typing in the word join, it gives in my command bar, select source object or, or multiple objects to join at once. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead through my space and grab all of these lines that are connecting to form my outline or boundary. Once everything is selected, you can go ahead and press enter. And now when you begin to hover over your space, now you have the lines joined together as one. So we have our two defined spaces, which is my first outside area of my living room or entry. And then I also have my bathroom area. What I would like to show is using that super hatch with an image. Right now, I would say that I want to create a wood image, a wood of rendering in this space here in my AutoCAD program. So I'm going to go over to where it says super hatch and I'm going to come to my image. Selecting my image, I'm going to go into my file, wherever your file is. And I'm going to pull up what my image is that I want to use. Right now, I have it saved as a download. And I'm going to select open. And if this is the image that is attached to that file, if it is correct, I can go ahead and specify on the screen my insertion point. And I'm just going to go ahead and start over in the corner of my entry select this endpoint because it's asking me to put in my insertion point. And as I do that, as you can see, it has a scale factor. And you can put in your scale factor if you know what it is, or you can go ahead and just press enter. I have to go back. I click too soon. Selecting my download. Choosing my image. Okay, and selecting my positioning, and I can scale this to whatever size that I want it to be. And I'm just scaling this by moving my mouse, 
and not pressing enter, I'm going to go ahead and left click when I have it to the size that I want it to be. And it'll give you an image of what this area looks like. If this image, as you can see on the bottom of my screen, the placement of the image is acceptable, the default is yes, so we're just going to press enter. When the item disappears, it's asking you to pick the internal points. So the internal points is with inside of my space. So I'm just left clicking and it does define that boundary that I spoke of. If this is correct, you can go ahead and press enter and then begin to watch your clock turn and your rendering or your image will populate. And notice how it went ahead and went around things such as my door area because it's showing that my door is opening into the space so it is layered on top. Now you can always go back and go in and, and render inside of this space. Or what we could have done in the beginning is went ahead and turned our doors off in our home tab and then we would have the space rendered. But for now, we're just gonna leave it for the purpose of this video here. So at this time, I have my wood flooring in. I can change my rotation and I'll show you in changing rotation in this next command. I'm gonna go ahead and create a towel pattern in this restroom or bathroom area. To be sure that I am rendering all of this space, I'm going to show you here how you can turn off your layers to make sure that nothing is missed. So at the top of my screen, I am in my home ribbon and I'm coming over to my layers property and I'm going to go ahead and come to my doors and turn my doors off. And as you can see here, my door in my restroom now is turned off. Let's just pan this drawing over here. Then from here, I'm going to go to my rectangle command because I want to create my own tile image. So I'm just drawing a rectangle, giving some dimensions. Let's go ahead and use this chamfer command to create myself a little pattern. I want my angle to be 45. And for the purpose of the video, I'm just gonna go through and do this using my repeat command, just to go a little slow. Everyone should remember using this chamfer command. If not, you can look through my previous videos as to how to work with your AutoCAD commands. So here we have our pattern. And now I'm going to turn this into a block. Again, I have more videos that shows how to create blocks if you do not remember how to do so. Creating this block here, I'm going to give this a name. And I'm going to call it tile sample and I'm just gonna make it long block because I have some other blocks in here under the tile so I just want to make sure I am specifying what this is so tile black block sample I am going to pick my insertion point because I do have a angle degree here and I want my insertion point to begin at the corner of my floor space I'm gonna head and pick the point I'm gonna make sure it deletes once I'm all finished so I have delete select it but first let's pick that point and I would like that point if I scroll into my image to be right at the corner of both of the ends of my angle so now that my insertion point is picked I'm going to say okay it's asking me to select the object I'm going to press enter once I have selected it and now my block 
that I created have disappeared. Now I'm going to go ahead to my Express Tools, go over to my Super Hatch, and then I'm going to come down to Block. Selecting block, I need to go and find that file or the block that I saved. As I mentioned, I do have a lot of blocks for my furniture and different things, but I'm going to find the one that we just created. And here it is, tile sample block. Selecting it, I'm going to press OK, and then I'm going to press OK again. Now it populates on my screen and it's asking me to specify here at the bottom, my insertion point. And I'm going to go ahead and come right to the end point of that corner. If I move in, notice how it'll sit right into place. Left clicking, and then I can go ahead and scale this to whatever I need it to be scaled to, but I'm just going to leave it and press enter so I can kind of move it around myself left clicking when it is in place it populates on my screen and it asks me is the placement of your block acceptable as it did before when we were using our image the default is yes so we can just press enter and now we need to for the block define the extents of this block well we want it to be the entire thing that means how much of this block do we want to show i want it to show all air, four sides of my block. So I can choose from end to end, side to side, diagonal to diagonal, just to make sure that it gets everything. So I'm picking the top and then the bottom. Once those are selected, I can press enter. Now it's asking me again, as I scroll out, to specify the internal point. So that means the space in which you're applying this block. I'm going to select just in the center anywhere. Notice that my boundary turns blue. And when I press enter, now my tile pattern has now loaded. You can see that it is inside of the bathroom area. If I want to turn back on my layer for my door, I can do so. As shown here. So we have now rendered our, this floor plan Let's scroll this out and then back in a little bit with some wood flooring and then a block tile image that we created on our own.